Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. I'm back here in the Appalachian Mountains at 2,700 feet, just outside my door in the forest behind my house. And I found some really cool mushrooms. And when I tell you the scientific name and break it down, you'll never forget the name of this mushroom. This is pretty funny. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. Here in the Appalachian Mountains, there's over 2,000 species of fungi and seemingly of infinite variety. I've covered several of these species in depth in previous episodes, like the edible smooth chanterelles, the cinnabar mushrooms, and the oyster mushrooms. I've also covered some of the non-edibles, like the glow-in-the-dark, biolucent jack-o'-lantern mushrooms that are very toxic and how to distinguish them from chanterelles. I've also covered other intriguing species like this one that looked like the brain and the fascinating coral mushrooms and many others. I was intrigued to observe this fascinating little mushroom. As you can see, each mushroom is no bigger than my fingernail, but they often occur in great numbers. They'll often completely cover a hardwood stump or a rotting hardwood log. Their common name is golden trumpet or bell umphalina. Its scientific name just made me laugh. The genus is zero myphalina, which means little dry navel. You can't make this up. And campanella, the species name, means bell shaped. And so they're describing both the mature and young shapes of the cap. As the mushroom gets older, it gets inverted and in forming this navel belly button like structure. When it's younger, they're very bell shaped. The mushroom has also been known as fuzzy foot. I love these names. These mushrooms are not sought after by foragers, partly because they're very small and partly because they have a bitter taste to them. These species are particularly prevalent uh, during wet periods of the year. And you can see in the shady dark corner with all these moss growing on these logs, these are very damp. I was intrigued by their beauty, their symmetry, their size, and the perfection of their shape and structures. And now, knowing the breakdown of the scientific name, Little Dry Navel, I don't think I'll for ever forget the name of this mushroom, will you? Thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door Shorts. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Remember, I cover everything from insects to wildflowers to reptiles and amphibians, and trees, everything nature. And I try to do it in depth, make it fun, and with a lot of content to share for you. But thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.